Good morning, happy Tuesday. If you see any mess in the background, I apologize. You guys know I have been sick. <laughs> Getting ready to have some coffee. What I'm going to have is I got my Bones coffee order in, which was just one coffee and then this shirt, which I love. Um, so I got the Costa Rica, which is just a regular like blend coffee. So I made a pot of that. Um, I got my, let me show you, keto crates. So I think I'm gonna film that at lunchtime and then hopefully get that up maybe tomorrow. Also got a nut stop order in. I got some new things in here that I've never gotten from them before. So I will um, be doing a recipe very, very, very soon with that. Hopefully also this week. I have dishes I gotta get done right now before my shift starts. I'm feeling better, but not 100%. I ended up, I, I did not make dinner. I knew, I, I should have known I was not gonna do that. I already had started stew for the family, which was easy, so I made them that. But I have all the components for that chicken dish for tonight, so I will be making that tonight. I just did not, I did not feel like eating. Like anytime I tried to even start to eat something, my stomach was like, rejecting it and so i ended up though at the end of the night ended up having two pieces of a keto bread toasted with some peanut butter and a little bit of butter and that actually sat on my stomach pretty well and so that was about seven o'clock last night it's the last time i've eaten a cup of coffee i have some pure sweetener in there and then i put in a four tablespoons of this Stoke Fueled Creamer, which it does suggest four tablespoons. It's five grams of protein. Here are the ingredients. And the stats would be the 90 calorie one. Number two has a scoop of this keto collagen and some half and half. This is actually my favorite half and half, you guys. This kind from Kroger is so creamy. It's, it's really good and it doesn't have any of the sneaky stuff in there that sometimes you do see in half and half. So, yep, super good. Oh, it's lunchtime. I actually have to film a video. So I am showing you my lunch and then I'm gonna film a video real quick, eat, and then I have another meeting at 1.30. I am feeling so much better. Oh my gosh, I am so glad my stomach seems to be completely better. I, but I did just have a meeting, I had to talk a lot. Oh, look at my hair and my, I'm still like have a ton of congestion and if I talk too much, I get like all like coughing and stuff. So it's still there, but at least the stomach part is gone because that's the part that was driving me crazy. So at least that part is gone. Let me show you my lunch. Some guacamole with pork rinds. This is that Franz hamburger bun um, that I found at Walmart and they're the keto ones. So they're one net carb for this whole bun. And then I just have a simple chicken salad. It's just um, chicken that I cooked yesterday with some mustard mayo, some dill pickle relish, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Just super simple. So I'm gonna have this for lunch and then I will check in with you guys. Oh, I'm gonna have this Rockstar as well. The zero, this flavor one, Rockstar. So you guys, I just tried these keto hamburger buns. They are so good, so good. The bread I really like, but I prefer the bread toasted, but this, um, this hamburger bun, I didn't toast it, and you don't need to toast it. It is, it is legit. Like, it really is. I am definitely gonna throw these in the freezer so they don't go bad, um, but these would be so good. This is like a game changer for me, for burgers and stuff. Yeah, definitely really good. So I'm drinking a coffee, and I'm going to have one of these good-to-go bars. I got this in my keto crate. This is strawberry macadamia nut. I cannot wait. morning it is Wednesday hope you are all doing well I am still not feeling the best I was feeling good yesterday and then I think I overdid it because I was starting to feel better and the sun was shining and um, you know and all of that and then I was eating because the day before I just my stomach was hurting so bad well then by dinner time my stomach started hurting again and it is again today so um, I'll see how that goes. I could not sleep last night, um, so I was up really late, and um, yeah, anyway, 
So we'll just see how today goes. So I, so much for my, you know, my goals this week, honestly, it irritates me. Oh, another thing, oh, I'm having some coffee. It is super hot. I was really thinking about fasting today um, because I don't feel hungry at all, but I just, I need my coffee. I need the comfort of my coffee, <laughs> uh, especially when I'm just not feeling well. Um, anywho, what I was gonna talk about was, it. I, I got those nuts from Nutstop and um, I ate some cashews, not very many because cashews are pretty high in carbs. Um, I had some almonds and this is over the last couple of days. And I just made, I, I weighed them out because I told you guys I was gonna do all my weighing and measuring, so I did that. And I, and I kind of knew this. I kind of knew that if I have too many nuts, it does, like make me gain for some reason and um and like I said I you know they were weighed out and everything and did not put me over my carbs or anything like that but I think it's just something about nuts will make me stall and that being said I have to do a video um because I told you know I told them I would do a video like a using some of their products so I will be doing a nut video coming up. Um, well, there's other stuff in there that I got too. Um, one of them being some chia seed powder and I'm really curious about how I can use that. Uh, so anyway, I do have a video coming soon when I figure out what I'm going to make, but yeah, I really have to be careful with nuts, which is such a bummer because I really like, and like I discovered those the spicy dill pickle ones, which I know those have maltodextrin, so some people will say that's probably why, but no, I have not even eaten those in the last couple of days because I didn't want anything that spicy on my stomach, so I've just been eating plain, just plain roasted, and actually the almonds I had were just raw almonds, unsalted, and the cashews were just roasted, lightly salted and that's it. There's no other things with them. So I know it wasn't, you know, there's no bad stuff or anything. You really just have to know your body. You really do. That's why, you know, I know a lot of people don't want to weigh every day. They want to only weigh once a week or once a month. And I get that. And because it can get to be a very obsessive thing. I've been there. I'm probably still there in some sense. But also if you don't do that, then it's sometimes it's hard to tell though too what may make your body fluctuate and it feels like things like nuts make my body fluctuate. And let me know if you're like that. Let me know in the comment section, do you have that same issue with certain foods? Are there certain foods that do that? Um, another thing I've been getting a lot of questions about, which is it's funny because I never thought about it before and that's low carb versus keto. I have been having a lot of people ask me, what's the difference? What, I, honestly, like, I don't know because I've only done keto. I mean, years and years and years, years ago, like way, like probably the back in like 2013, I think it was when I started using my fitness pal and I was kind of doing some counting calories. And then, um, I know Atkins was really big back then. And I did some of the low carb stuff, you know, like some of the Atkins foods and some of the plans and stuff. And I, um, I didn't go into the super low carb, like, you know, like the keto version. I just, you know, ate kind of lower carb stuff, but I never actually looked at the differences between the two. So I'm going to look that up so I can, I mean, people ask me, I can tell them, but it's just fine because it seems like a lot of people I've noticed, um, who have been like DMing me or talking to me on Facebook or you know just in comments are saying right now to get through this kind of stressful time um, they're doing low carb versus keto and then that's when they've been asked then so a lot of people have been asking you know well what is the difference and that's a good question so I kind of want to inform myself I like to read about stuff like that um, I I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So if you can enlighten people down there, like if you do low carb, what is the difference? What, how do you distinguish it? Is it just the amount of net carbs or is there more to it than that? I'm just curious so I can let people know. I feel like, um, sometimes when I'm making recipes, um, they'll be a little bit higher carb and I think, okay, so, so should I call this a low carb recipe versus a keto recipe or is keto have to do with the balance of the macros, the higher fat, and maybe in low carb, you don't do that higher fat. I don't know. Inquiring minds want to know. I don't know why. I just had a, for some reason, like yesterday was this like surge of like questions about it. And I think it's right now as people are, um, 
it's like almost like people are seeing kind of maybe the end and the kind of light at the end of this, you know, long tunnel that we've had here. I don't even know. Does that even make sense? I'm really bad with like using sayings and stuff. <laughs> um, but if, you know, maybe they're seeing the end of it and they think that low carb is a way they can go to kind of ease back into keto. I showed you yesterday that I got this nut stop order in, so I want to show you some of the things that I got. So I got some raw walnuts. I got roasted salted pecan. Some macadamia nuts. This is just some mixed nuts, uh, roasted and salted. The raw almonds that I got, they're already put away in a jar. I had some spicy peanuts, which these are only a one net carb. It's exciting. Well, things are fun. I got some sunflower seeds. I'm gonna have those on like salads and whatnot. Um, a couple things that I got that are not for me. Um, I got some trail mix and some um, yogurt covered cranberries. And then, what do we got here? Oh, here's some more almonds right here. These are the almonds um, roasted and salted. And then I got this stuff. So I got some more almond flour. I really do like their almond flour. It's really fine, kind of just like the custard one. And then this is some cocoa powder. I have not tried their cocoa powder yet. And then this is the chia seed powder. So as you can see, it's really low carb. How the cocoa powder? Look at that. That's also really low carb. Um, so I don't have to do with this chia powder. I'm gonna have to look that up. And then I also picked up some flaxseed meal, which is zero carbs. Um, I use this quite a bit. So I will have a recipe soon. I do have a discount code for NetStop. I will have that link down below. So check out all of those links. Also, this is my Keto Crate box. I'm really happy with the box. Um, I got some really good things. So check out that video that I just posted um, today. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not feeling like as bad as I was earlier. It's just this sore throat and then my stomach. Like I do not want anything to eat at all. I'm just going to have an energy drink, which probably is not the best choice. I've been drinking water all day and then my coffee. Um, but I honestly like the thought of food. No. Um, it seems that I've been like talking to people and a lot of people are having the stomach thing. I talked to my mom at the beginning of my lunch and she was saying she was kind of having the same thing. So I don't know, but I definitely don't want food. Um, just don't, I'm kind of afraid. Like last night after I ate that um, taco salad, I just was not feeling well. So I got a couple things. So I showed you the nut stop order I got. So this is just gonna be a video of hauls and not very much food. Um, I got my perfect keto order in. This are some new products I've never tried before. So they had the buy two, what was it? Cause I have, I don't know. Was it like buy two, get one free or something like that? I'm not sure, but let me show you what I got. Um, it was that sale they had going on. So I picked up all nut butters is what I picked up because, oh yeah, cause they come in packs of two. So they're buy two, get one free, something like that. And Aaron over at Aaron Does the Keto like raves about these nut butters. So I thought, take advantage of the sale and pick them up. Uh, so this one is a chocolate um, hazelnut. And there are six servings in this bag. Each, let me take my glasses off. Um, looks like each serving is three nut carbs on this one. On the chocolate hazelnut. And then this one is Snickerdoodle. I'm really excited about Snickerdoodle. I may try a little taste of this just so I can taste it. Uh, it looks like this one is two net carbs for this one. And let's see. Oh, so I got two of the chocolate hazelnuts, one of the Snickerdoodle. Almond butter and jelly. If I remember right, I think Erin said this is one of her favorite ones. And this one is three net carbs. Uh, what does it have for the jelly? Oh, it just has powders in there. So it has like blueberry powder, strawberry powder, raspberry powder, apple powder, dragon fruit powder, cinnamon. Oh, that sounds really good. I may have to try this one. Uh, let's see, another snickerdoodle and another butter and jelly. Okay, so that's the ones that I got. And then the only other thing I got something in from Amazon that I had ordered, and that's these dill pickle cashews. 
So these are like eight net carbs. So they're not low net carbs at all. And they have maltodextrin in them and they have sugar in them. So, well, that's part of the seasoning. Uh, but I just got them just to try. I won't probably, won't be the one eating these, but I just, I was curious because when I picked up the almond, pickled almonds, um, these were also on there. So I wouldn't say that these are definitely probably not keto friendly, but I'm just telling you I got these in an order. Okay, work is almost over. I have seven minutes left. Having a little coffee, I just I just don't want to eat anything just because the way my stomach feels, so I'm just trying to just keep liquids on it right now. Um, yeah, so if I do eat, any, eat anything, I will put it up here, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I will put, I actually did a little bit of research on my lunch on keto versus low carb. We had talked about, I had talked about that we, yeah, we, all of us have talked about that. No, I was telling you I was having a lot of DMs and questions about it. So I will put the information, the websites and stuff that I found that seem credible websites, you know, cause there's gonna be all kinds of things out there, but these are pretty credible ones. I feel like I will put them down in the description box and that may help if you guys are looking to go more low carb than keto and just curious about things, I will put that down there. So I will see you guys um, maybe tomorrow. I think I'll go ahead and vlog tomorrow, especially if I'm feeling better and I will talk to you guys then. Bye guys.